they try to go and fight their opponents in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch. Rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big... Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Bass. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Right, so We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Both fighters get up now. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, yeah, right hand. Again, back into this position. He lands the head kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Beautiful body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Left hand punch to the clinch. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? And he landed the right hand there. And they both stand up. I mean, that right hand landed square. Ooh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Single collar tie here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at the whip action that comes in. Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Lee gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, that's a nice strike. Straight punch there by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Head kick lands. The horn sounds for the end of round one. The pressure because you're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced in the gym. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the first round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit. Oh! oh! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. He's got the turtle in that kick. Head kick partially blocked. Well, he's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Good stick. Oh, man, how many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscience? One, normally, <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he kicks any more, he's gonna be asleep. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. How good is that right hand? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Back and forth we go! after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control in this second round. Oh! He's out! Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot 
that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout.